Hi guys, uh, this is Malik Arjun. Uh, in this today's session, I'm going to explain you how to drop and database using GUI mode. Basically, there's a Oracle uh, tool or utility called DBCA, which can be used for database creation as well as a database drop or uh, you know terminating the database. So, and then there are two other options also: creating the template and managing the database. All these four options can be possible using DBCA. So in my previous uh, videos and previous tutorial, I explained about uh, creating database using DBCA and uh, using DBCA how to create a template and how to manage a database. So all those topics are covered. And in today's session, you know, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to drop one of the database using DBCA. So let's get started. So current database. on okay uh, dev drdb is my current database is up and running so i'll just quickly log into the database and you can see the database okay it is the dev db and mounted so don't worry about the open state uh, irrespective of open state or uh, mounted state or uh, you know uh, whatever state it is so if you are using dbca so you know that will take care of whatever state it is so if you are dropping database using manual method like drop database command so the one of the prerequisites is you need to put your database in mount restricted mode but whereas if you are using a dbca to drop the database you no need to worry about whatever the state of the database is so i'm quickly going to Oracle Home Bin and okay, here you go. This is the DBCA utility. I'm just launching the DBCA. It's a GUI mode. It will launch a GUI prompt. Here you go. Database configuration assistant. So just give us two second. Once this GUI screen comes, you know, it will list out whatever database running on this server. Click next and you know, I'm going to drop this database. So I'll select delete database next. And if you're running a multiple database in this in this server, so all this database will be listed out here. Currently, there's only one database configured in the server and that is DevDB. And you know, it has uh, listed here. So uh, here you see it said when we check the instance in this server it is dr sorry dev drdb but here it is showing dev db dev drdb is a instance name and dev db is a database name so you now uh, I will I will quickly show that that as well give me a second open new terminal right, so. So name is devdb and instance name is uh, the name of the database is devdb and uh, you know name of the database is devdb and instance name is uh, you know dev drdb select next command conduct terminal from dollar here you go dev dev drdb so always in dbca it is going to it is going to list out a database name okay i'm i'm selecting this dev db and click on finish database configuration assistant will delete the following okay i'm going to click yes there you go so started deleting Data files of database society could be, you know, could not be removed because database is not been started. Database deletion completed. You want to perform another another operation? No, I don't want to. You know, this is the only one database got deleted. I just click no, and you know, it got deleted.
uh, just an instance it's uh, you know uh, running i can kill this process or i can try to connect this one or i can simply uh, connect to that instance and then i can kill that process uh, you know because database is dropped try to connect uh. okay so database not mounted so you know database is ideally dropped but the process are running so what i do okay. just like uh, you know, terminating that whatever running process just uh, run it now okay. and I quickly go ahead and uh, check that uh, directory